Hello, in this video, we're going to do an introduction to the Do More Designer program that you'll be using for the uh, PLC program, programming that we're going to be doing. And just show you some of the things that you're going to see. So every time you open it up, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see this uh, start page here for Do More Designer. It has a few handy things that you can do on it. And then usually you get the tip of the day. Now you can unclick this so that you don't see those tips every time you start and you can just close that so this is really what you're left with and you'll have this launch pad on the left here you've got all of your options of what you can do up on top here uh, you can see most of it is grayed out that's because we haven't even started a new program so let's just do that that's most likely what you're going to be doing is going to create a new program, new project. So you click that and then another dialog box opens up here. And again, this is a, a PLC program that is designed to be used for PLC hardware. And again, because we're doing this um, online, we won't have any of that hardware. So we're going to be using the Do More Simulator which would be your third option down on the very left hand side. So pick that and then it pretty much takes all your options away because you're just using uh, a simulator that is software based. So we'll click OK and then we'll start our project here. So this is essentially how the project will, will look. You've got your empty rungs here for your ladder logic program that you're going to be using. And you, again, you've got your project browser here. We're not going to be doing a lot with this. I don't think there's much that we're going to be uh, needing out of this side here. On the right-hand side, of course, though, you're going to be having your instruction toolbox. And we have all of our options there that, that we could use. You can hover above them, and you get a bit of a um, description of what that... Uh, instruction does in your program so that's very helpful okay so let's go through and just add a device and then show you what the simulator looks like or sorry some instructions into a rung and we'll make this really really simple so we're just going to put a normally open contact in there and you can click it here and double click it sorry and you'll go there um, and it'll populated into the spot where that blue box is. So what we're going to do is just give this a name and we'll call it switch can't spell switch one and you can't have any spaces in there it's going to give you an, an argument if you do that. So we'll hit the check mark and accept that. Now what it's doing here is it's associating switch one with an internal bit called CO. Now we're not going to use that internal bit. We're going to go with a um, and again it's it's going to the simulator but we're going to make it look like it's actually an activated switch, a manually activated switch. So for inputs it uses the letter X as the starting point and we can see that we've got from 0, x0 0 to x2047. So we basically have 2048 different inputs that we could use. Now obviously under simulator we don't, we only have 16. So we'll have to go from 0 to 15. So just make sure that you keep that in mind. So we'll just go with x0 as our first one. Okay, put that in there. And what it does is associate switch one with x0. We'll go to our output here. And you'll notice on the bottom too, we also have instructions. So see, these are some of your most commonly used ones. And we'll double click there for the output. And we're just gonna put this and call this uh, lamp one. Switch one, lamp one. Okay. Now again, it's going to associate it with an an internal bit and an internal bit can either be as an output or an input it really doesn't matter 
Uh, but that's just a software point. We'll talk about this a little bit later. And in fact, you'll probably have to use one in one of your programs. So again, we're going to try to associate this more with the um, simulated hardware. So we want to make it actually light up an output, not just register a one or a zero somewhere. So we're going to change this and for do more designer, they use the letter Y for their outputs. So we've got Y and we'll make it Y zero as well. Hit OK. So there's our first program. Now you'll notice up here we're in edit mode and you have to build before you can run a program, you have to get out of edit mode and you have to accept. And that's what this yellow bar indicates along the side here is that you're in edit mode. So we'll hit accept and now it switches to green. So that means that we've essentially written our program to the PLC. And now we'll go to our simulator and we'll launch that. Okay. Now, unfortunately, it gets a little bit cumbersome to have these, but you can move this off to the side here as much as possible. And nice thing is, is that um, I can actually get rid of this. Oops. That'll move that over to there. And if I move this over like that, open up my simulator again, I can kind of see what's going to happen here in the uh, the program here. Now, every time that you are going to run this program, you have to make sure that your simulator is in the run mode by just moving that up there. And so the program is, is essentially just a switch and a light. If it was out in the field, I would have a manual switch. Once that went true or rang it, came in as a one into the program, then it would write a one over to the output and then the output would fire a relay and Y zero is going to turn on. So let's just take a look and see if this works. And again, you've got your status here. So once this goes true, this should go, um, I'll just move this down here so we can see this better. Oop, lost my simulator. Um, we can write a one here and we should see it go as a a blue marker around here and when this writes as a one we should see a blue marker around that as well sorry if you hover above them the description comes up so let's just hit that button and look at that so I hit Y or X zero and Y zero came on Move that again and you can see that it's operated by the fact that it looks like the button is actually pushed down so it gives you a nice graphical um, look to it that the button is actually depressed and that is essentially your um, do more designer again we're going to be getting into that more and we have a few more videos to go through on what we're going to be using but this is just to get you started and just to give you a, a look and a feel of what the program is like i hope that helps and uh, we'll see you in the next video